The giraffe, giraffa, is an African artiodactyl mammal, the tallest living terrestrial animal and the largest ruminant. It is traditionally considered to be one species, Giraffa camelopardalis, with nine subspecies. However, the existence of up to eight extant giraffe species has been described, based upon research into the mitochondrial and nuclear DNA, as well as morphological measurements of giraffe. Seven other species are extinct, prehistoric species known from fossils. The giraffe's chief distinguishing characteristics are its extremely long neck and legs, its horn-like ossicones, and its distinctive coat patterns. It is classified under the family Giraffidae, along with its closest extant relative, the Okapi. Its scattered range extends from Chad in the north to South Africa in the south, and from Niger in the west to Somalia in the east. Giraffes usually inhabit savannas and woodlands. Their food source is leaves, fruits, and flowers of woody plants, primarily acacia species, which they browse at heights most other herbivores cannot reach. Giraffes may be preyed on by lions, leopards, spotted hyenas, and African wild dogs. Giraffes live in herds of related females and their offspring, or bachelor herds of unrelated adult males, but are gregarious and may gather in large aggregations. Males establish social hierarchies through necking, which are combat bouts where the neck is used as a weapon. Dominant males gain mating access to females, which bear the sole responsibility for raising the young. The giraffe has intrigued various cultures, both ancient and modern, for its peculiar appearance, and has often been featured in paintings, books, and cartoons. It is classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as vulnerable to extinction, and has been extirpated from many parts of its former range. Giraffes are still found in numerous national parks and game reserves but estimates as of 2016 indicate that there are approximately 97,500 members of giraffe in the wild. More than 1,600 were kept in zoos in 2010. In 2010, giraffes were assessed as least concern from a conservation perspective by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN but the 2016 assessment categorized giraffes as vulnerable. In 1999, it was estimated that over 140,000 giraffes existed in the wild, but estimations as of 2016 indicate that there are approximately 97,500 members of giraffe in the wild, down from 155,000 in 1985. The Maasai and reticulated subspecies are endangered, and the Rothschild subspecies is near threatened. The Nubian subspecies is critically endangered. The primary causes for giraffe population declines are habitat loss and direct killing for bushmeat markets. Giraffes have been extirpated from much of their historic range including Eritrea, Guinea, Mauritania, and Senegal. They may also have disappeared from Angola, Mali, and Nigeria, but have been introduced to Rwanda and Swaziland. As of 2010, there were more than 1,600 in captivity at Species 360 registered zoos. Protected areas such as national parks provide important habitat and anti-poaching protection to giraffe populations. Community-based conservation efforts outside national parks are also effective at protecting giraffes and their habitats. Private game reserves have contributed to the preservation of giraffe populations in southern Africa 43 The giraffe is a protected species in most of its range. It is the national animal of Tanzania, and is protected by law, and unauthorized killing can result in imprisonment. The UN-backed Convention of Migratory Species selected giraffes for protection in 2017. In 2019, giraffes were listed under Appendix 2 of the Conference of the Parties to the UN Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites, which will now document international trade in giraffe parts, such as hides, bones, and meat. Translocations are sometimes used to augment or re-establish diminished or extirpated populations, but these activities are risky and difficult to undertake using the best practices of extensive pre- and post-translocation studies and ensuring a viable founding population. Aerial survey is the most common method of monitoring giraffe population trends in the vast roadless tracts of African landscapes, but aerial methods are known to undercount giraffes. Ground-based survey methods are more accurate and can be used in conjunction with aerial surveys to make accurate estimates of population sizes and trends. Giraffes were probably common targets for hunters throughout Africa. 
Different parts of their bodies were used for different purposes. Their meat was used for food. The tail hairs served as flies waters, bracelets, necklaces, and thread. Shields, sandals, and drums were made using the skin, and the strings of musical instruments were from the tendons. The smoke from burning giraffe skins was used by the medicine men of Buganda to treat nosebleeds. The Hummer people of Kordofan consume the drink UMM Nyalok, which is prepared from the liver and bone marrow of giraffes. Richard Rudgley hypothesized that UMM Nyalok might contain DMT. The drink is said to cause hallucinations of giraffes, believed to be the giraffe's ghosts, by the Hummer. In the 19th century, European explorers began to hunt them for sport. Habitat destruction has hurt the giraffe. In the Sahel, the need for firewood and grazing room for livestock has led to deforestation. Normally, giraffes can coexist with livestock, since they do not directly compete with them. In 2017, severe droughts in northern Kenya have led to increased tensions over land and the killing of wildlife by herders, with giraffe populations being particularly hit. Giraffes usually inhabit savannas and open woodlands. They prefer Acacia, Comifora, Comratum and open Terminalia woodlands over denser environments like Brachistigia woodlands. The Angolan giraffe can be found in desert environments. Giraffes browse on the twigs of trees, preferring trees of the subfamily Acacia and the genera Comifora and Terminalia, which are important sources of calcium and protein to sustain the giraffe's growth rate. They also feed on shrubs, grass, and fruit. A giraffe eats around 34 kilograms, 75 pounds, of foliage daily. When stressed, giraffes may chew the bark off branches. Although herbivorous, the giraffe has been known to visit carcasses and lick dried meat off bones. During the wet season, food is abundant and giraffes are more spread out, while during the dry season, they gather around the remaining evergreen trees and bushes. Mothers tend to feed in open areas, presumably to make it easier to detect predators, although this may reduce their feeding efficiency. As a ruminant, the giraffe first chews its food, then swallows it for processing and then visibly passes the half-digested cut up the neck and back into the mouth to chew again. It is common for a giraffe to salivate while feeding. The giraffe requires less food than many other herbivores because the foliage it eats has more concentrated nutrients and it has a more efficient digestive system. The animal's faces come in the form of small pellets. When it has access to water, a giraffe drinks at intervals no longer than three days. Giraffes have a great effect on the trees that they feed on, delaying the growth of young trees for some years and giving waistlines to trees that are too tall. Feeding is at its highest during the first and last hours of daytime. Between these hours, giraffes mostly stand and ruminate. Rumination is the dominant activity during the night, when it is mostly done lying down. Giraffes have high adult survival probability, and an unusually long lifespan compared to other ruminants, up to 38 years. Because of their size, eyesight, and powerful kicks, adult giraffes are usually not subject to predation, although lions may regularly prey on individuals up to 550 kilograms, 1,210 pounds. Giraffes are the most common food source for the big cats in Kruger National Park, comprising nearly a third of the meat consumed, although only a small portion of the giraffes were probably killed by predators, as a majority of the consumed giraffes appeared to be scavenged. Nile crocodiles can also be a threat to giraffes when they bend down to drink. Calves are much more vulnerable than adults and are additionally preyed on by leopards, spotted hyenas, and wild dogs. A quarter to a half of giraffe calves reach adulthood. Calf survival varies according to the season of birth, with calves born during the dry season having higher survival rates. The local, seasonal presence of large herds of migratory wildebeests and zebras reduces predation pressure on giraffe calves and increases their survival probability. In turn, it has been suggested that other ungulates may benefit from associating with giraffes as their height allows them to spot predators from further away. Zebras were found to glean information on predation risk from giraffe body language and spend less time scanning the environment when giraffes are present. Some parasites feed on giraffes. They are often hosts for ticks, especially in the area around the genitals, which has thinner skin than other areas. Tick species that commonly feed on giraffes are those of genera Hyalema, Amblyema, and Ripicephalus. 
Giraffes may rely on red-billed and yellow-billed oxpeckers to clean them of ticks and alert them to danger.